been on the ice in years. So I was like, do I even know how to lace my skates? <laughs> and I went to do it, and I was like, oh, yeah, it was like riding a bike. I was like, oh, yeah, I do this, I do this. Yeah, OK, great. It was very nostalgic and like felt homey. It was really cool. Nathan? Hey, Elias. Ah! Woo! <laughs> Welcome to my turf. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's been a while here, folks. <laughs> gonna have to it's warm right. up. Did you get a chance to skate very often when you were younger, or was like kind of like every now and then? My mom would, like, we would practice around these circles. OK, nice. <laughs> follow the circle. Fair. <laughs> Crossovers are pretty solid. When I first heard about all of this, I was like, I don't know how, how I feel about a musician like skating with me. I'd be like, this is not going to turn out well. But of course, she's had experience on the ice. I grew up in ice rinks. My mom's Sarah Kawahara. She's a two-time Emmy Award-winning ice skating choreographer, did the opening and closing ceremonies of the Olympics in Salt Lake City. She was raised by a pretty prominent figure skating judge and choreographer. So it was nice to be able to have that immediate connection, being like, hey, like we've, we both grew up in rinks, sort of. Yeah, I can do a, I can do a turn. OK. Yeah! OK, I see. That's good. <laughs> she was significantly better than I was expecting her to be. So I literally was telling my brother and my sister that I was doing this, and okay. they were like, you're the worst ice skater out of <laughs> all of us. And I was like, oh, how dare you? I was like, I'm pretty decent. And they're like, well, you you skate more like a hockey skater. They're like, you're What's very mean? <laughs> Because I'm more of like a bulldozer. So when I'm on the ice, I'm like. <laughs> I like it. You but know, yeah. Skating is all up to your own personal interpretation. It's yeah, I how think you wanna, if I were a professional skater, I would be like, they would call me the bulldozer. <laughs> Please welcome four-year-old Nathan Chen. Growing up, you'd wake up, go skating before school, then skate after school, and like, what made you mm -hmm. want to go down that path? It's a really challenging path. Yeah. I mean, I started skating when I was three years old, and I really like haven't taken any time away from the sport since I was basically born, you know? But it's something that I love, and it's something that I'm truly passionate about. He's 10 years old, the youngest skater at the U.S. Championship. I wanted to be an Olympian since I started skating, but obviously I had no idea what that meant, how to make that happen. Not until really I was 16 in 2016 was I like, all right, this is like something that I can actually potentially make happen given that I have like the technical elements to be competitive. And like two years later, I was able to make that team. He's a star. He's a contender for Olympic gold. Quads are like a big deal, obviously. I would say king of quads, not to add more pressure <laughs> no, 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 on your no. life. <laughs> You're like, hey, Lisa, like, I was king don't. of quads. <laughs> I mean, do you still have a fear component when you're going into a quad? Is that something you never really get used to? Mm -hmm. Definitely when like learning the new quads, it's really, there's a huge fear, fear component. It's less about like the actual physicality of it and more so just being like mentally like blocking you, being like, what happens when it doesn't go right, you know? You're kind of going as fast as you can down the ice, trying to tap in the ice and like going up, rotating four times and hoping for the best. Um, so definitely there is that big, big fear component. But you know, honestly, that's like my favorite part of skating. And you know, I really love the technique and I love the jumps. When you're like in the quad, mm -hmm. are you thinking like, oh, I should have had eggs for breakfast, <laughs> or like, oh, what am I gonna have for dinner? Like, I really don't think. <laughs> like nothing goes. It's just okay. like. Head empty, well, because you know? sometimes I'm on stage and <laughs> yeah. I start thinking, I'm like, what am I gonna have for dinner? That's and then true, I yeah. forget the lyric. Okay. So I'll be like singing and I'll be like, girls, hey! and then I'll be like, oh yeah, we're on stage. Like, hello. Oh, Does that ha I mean, I'm assuming that it must definitely, happen. Yeah, oh, for sure. Like, it definitely happens when I'm doing my program, like for the right. full four minutes. Like, and it's also like the boards, we won't have the glass a lot of the time. So there's like literally, like, we're like this close oh, to like someone that. just sitting there. And people are just like and staring like, at you, like, and like just doing stuff. And I'm like, their nose, yeah, and I'm like, and you're oh, like sir, <laughs> I'm trying to focus. <laughs> exactly. All right, we're gonna start. Ready? All right, Nathan. So, how do we take Found My Friends? to the ice. Start with this thing. One, two, two. I don't even remember so how So how many. are you doing that? I'm going just like toe heel, toe heel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Toe heel. OK. Toe heel. And, then we, and then we went this. Yeah. 
How are you doing that? You're just doing... Up, here, up, here. And then we did this thing. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, this is all toe pick. Oh, we're really going for it. Okay. <laughs> Can I wear a helmet? The choreography on the ice did not go as smoothly as I had hoped on my part. Yeah, that's good, that's good, all right. Yep, yep. I was over here thinking I'm gonna kill it. It is a totally different experience on the blades. It seems so easy and seems so like conventional to step on the ice, like, oh, you're just walking on a different surface. But as soon as you get on, it's a completely different sensation. Whether you've done it a million times or you've never done it at all, it's just like, it's always like, oh, wow, this is what it's like, you know? And then this, yeah, oh. it's gonna get tricky. Now you have to cross here. <laughs> Is that safe enough? Okay. Or safer? When you're dancing on the floor, it's very different than when you're on the ice because obviously when you're on the ice, you're gliding. Ooh, nope, can't do that. <laughs> we can also go step four instead of turning. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's cut the turn. <laughs> let's cut the turn. Let's cut, let's cut the turn. You realize how much credit you have to give to an athlete who's able to skate on blades on ice at a very fast pace and be able to move gracefully because I just was like stomping, <laughs> trying to make each move happen. In my mind, I'm like, this is gonna be so easy. Yeah. No, it's not. Skate next, representing the United States of America, Nathan 18 years old. I'm sure you probably don't even like talking about it, but like the pressure going into the Olympics, like what is the mantra that you tell yourself to be able to like perform at your best? Sure. Last Olympics in 2018, that was my first games. Um, and in my mind, I was like, I don't really care about anything else. I'm literally just here to win. And I think having that mentality honestly put me in a, in a worse spot. He's going after the Lutz and it hasn't worked. I made almost every error that I could have in my first program. Uh-oh. I mean, just the mental strength and the, and the resilience that you have to have to fall and get back up. And I think that's what's so exciting about like artists and athletes is like, we rise and we fall, but it's about when we get back up from that fall and how how we come back from that moment, which is like so inspiring. Fortunate enough that I was still able to compete in the second program. Here he goes, just a teenager. The real Nathan Chen just showed up at the Olympics. Nathan Chen is still the quad king. He was planning five quads. He did six. That is so gutsy under so much pressure. He really should be named Nathan Quad. Let's change that. <laughs> I think Nathan definitely embodies that Olympic spirit. When he falls down, he continues to rise. You know, the phoenix from the ashes. Ultimately, all I can control is how well I can prepare for the event, and then when I'm there, just doing the best that I can. And so definitely, like, that's the way that I've sort of switched my, my mentality over the past couple seasons. I feel like, for me, I can relate being on stage and just remind myself to be present. So it's Absolutely. not about, like, the end goal. It's like, hey, you're here. Everyone watching you wants you to succeed. I mean, yeah. except for your competitors. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, they're like, when I'm on yeah, stage, course, I'm like, yeah. just be present and enjoy this moment. And I feel like those are, like, my best performances. And I'm just like, I mean, just in life, too, I feel like Yeah, we, it's a big mindfulness <laughs> thing, right? Yeah. Like, just, like, to just be there. The sow cow, right? Is sow cow when you, is... When you jump off of the same foot. Edge, yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's what I was doing. I that's, can do... That's sow. Yeah, we're going to do a skating craft this. course now. Yeah, there you go. Back sow cow, this. single sow. Beautiful. I didn't really get much air there. That's OK. <laughs> At least you got everything. Fundamentals are there. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I can do. And then I can that's do good. this. Lunge, nice. I can do this. <laughs> and then, and I, and then I, I stop like a heart. I do. You're outdoing yourself. Can you show me something that I obviously cannot do? I would love. Don't hurt yourself, though. Sure. But, you know. Okay, sure. Whoa, whoa, oh my gosh. 